Yesterday morning at around 11, uh, Mr. F.W. Duclerc came to our hotel and we had a nice room set up for him where we got to interview him for about an hour, um, which was cool because he was only supposed to be there for about 30 or 40 minutes. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure what to expect. You know, I'd heard different things from different people and I think uh, he was incredibly thought-provoking and incredibly thoughtful. And those two things combined, when you ask a good question, I think you get a really interesting conversation. Uh, may I say also welcome to South Africa. I hope that uh, the rest of your stay will also be productive. To understand South Africa, there's, apart from other things, one basic fact which one must accommodate in your thinking. And that is the complexity of our diversity. Imagine an America with 11 official languages, where the highest percentage of those 11 language groups consist about 15% of the population. Think of the implications of that for education. Fundamental, a fundamental problem in education is because the overwhelming percentage of black people are taught in their mother tongue, especially in the rural areas, for four years or so, and then everything switches to English. The teacher quite often can't speak English properly. The children have not sufficiently mastered English as a subject, as a language. And suddenly they taught maths and, and science in English. So always keep in mind, because I think foreigners have, when they think about South Africa, they think black, white, apartheid, black and white. It's much more complex than that. Black diversity is also a force in our social fabric. And our challenge, and we've accepted that challenge when we negotiated the new constitution, our challenge is how to foster unity within this diversity. The melting pot theory which worked until now for America, where all the German groups and the Swedish and the English and so on and so forth were melted into one pot and you speak American. F cannot work in South Africa. And our constitution recognizes that by saying we have 11 official languages. We have to make each of these linguistic groups forget about color and race, feel that they are, because each one has their own culture, the black groups have their own royal families, have their own traditions. Each one of these must feel that they are valued and appreciated building blocks of the greater whole, which is the South African nation. And that is our challenge. The clerk was incredible. He really gave me a different perspective on, on just kind of South Africa as a country and, you know, its history and everything that's happened here. And he kind of, as apartheid developed and passed and, you know, everything that happened with that. And it really helped me understand kind of where he was coming from and how the process was for him.